What's up, guys? This is EJ Holland with TheWolverine.com, and we're back with another Michigan recruiting report. Today, we're going to be breaking down five key Michigan recruits I saw on the road over the weekend. But before we dive into that, I want to invite you guys to subscribe to TheWolverine.com and also like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for free, but you can get even more than you get here on the YouTube channel over at TheWolverine.com. Uh, $1 for two months using the promo code UM1 exclusively for our YouTube viewers. So that gets you insider access on everything Michigan recruiting, football, basketball, transfer portal. We have a great message board community with more than 8,000 unique individual users. So come subscribe today for $1 for two months. And like I said earlier, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for free. All right, let's break down five key recruits I saw on the road over this over the weekend. So I was in the great state of Florida, uh, down in Bradenton, Florida, at IMG Academy for Under Armour's Future 50 event, which featured some of the best 2026 recruits in the country. Here are five key recruits I saw. We'll start off with top 100 Michigan quarterback commit Brady Hart. So Michigan landed Hart. Uh, last month, and it was a massive, massive early win for the Wolverines. Hart is the guy that was at the very top of the quarterback board. And it was cool because this event let me see Hart throw side by side with some former Michigan quarterback targets like Brady Smigel and Noah Grubbs and Will Griffin. And Brady Hart was clearly the better quarterback of that group. I think that Michigan won out you know I, I know notre dame ended up with grubs florida ended up with will griffin uh smigel ended up at florida state i think michigan won that race like I, I think brady hart is the superior quarterback prospect he's rare in the sense that he offers a high floor with his build and his mechanics he's starting to fill out that tall frame and he's pretty polished as a passer at this stage pretty young for his grade as well for example like brady smigel is a full year and a half maybe like more than a year older than Brady Hart uh, Hart just turned 16 this calendar year so he won a Florida State championship as a 15 year old so the upside is still there um and he's a guy that is as he matures he's only going to uh gain more arm strength uh, but I I think that there's a ton to like about Brady Hart he won MVP on day two of the event by on three. So I would expect him to rise up the rankings. I think he could be in the five-star discussion, much like J.J. McCarthy was by the end of his recruiting process. All right, the next recruit we'll hit on is Savion Hyder, uh, top 100 running back out of Virginia. Now, Hyder is one of the biggest priorities for Michigan on the offensive side of the ball next cycle an elite running back out of Woodbury Forest. This is a guy that has a great relationship with new running backs coach, Tony Alford, who has made him a top, top priority. Alford recruited him as an underclassman at Ohio State, so there's already a connection there. Hyder actually visited Michigan in the offseason and is now set to return for the barbecue at the Big House, so getting him back on campus this month is massive. There is a lot to like about Savion Hyder. He is a home run hitter. Uh, he is a guy that can run tough between the tackles, but he's more of a true all-purpose back that can play all three downs. He can line up as a receiver. He can catch passes out of the backfield. He's actually really good in pass protection as well. So I think Savion Hyder, especially in Michigan's offense, which is run heavy, can be one of the best running backs in the country in all of college football. I mean, there's uh, everything is set up to meet what Hyder brings. And, and I think he's a great culture fit as well. He goes to an academically rigorous school at Woodbury Forest. So it'd be an easy transition to Michigan, which is obviously uh, an elite academic school. So I think Michigan checks a lot of boxes for Savion Hyder. And like I said, getting him back for the barbecue at the big house this month is definitely positive movement. Again, he is one of the true elite running backs in the country next cycle and could be a signature land for Tony Alford as he transitions to wearing the maize and blue. All right, next on the list is on 300 wide receiver Travis Johnson out of Chesapeake Oscar Smith. 
So Travis Johnson is right in my backyard in the 757. So I've had a chance to see Johnson quite a bit. Uh, I've seen him at a couple of practices. I saw him in a game last year. I've seen him at seven on seven. I saw him at future 50 over the weekend. So I have seen Travis Johnson a ton. And the thing that stands out to me about Travis Johnson is that every time I see him, he gets better and better. The first time I saw him was like, okay, this is a, a guy that has a little juice. He's a bit, he's a bit raw. And now he's really ascended as a true elite receiver next cycle, which has been really fun to see his progression. Now in the top 150, he's right at about six foot three, 175 pounds. So he's a, a tall, athletic wideout, a pure uh, big body pass catcher on the outside. It fits a need for Michigan, which needs to continue to add size to its wide receiver room and actually develop some really good chemistry with Michigan quarterback commit Brady Hart at the event. They were on the same uh, 5v5 team and uh, he connected with Travis Johnson for a few big plays. And I think that chemistry will carry over to the barbecue event will that, where they will have some chances to uh, continue to connect as Hart is expected to be at the barbecue as well. So Travis Johnson, definitely a name that Michigan fans need to start getting more and more familiar with. This will be his first visit to Michigan, but I think the Wolverines will have a chance to make a big move. Next up on the list is top 100 safety, Zechariah four out of IMG Academy. So Zech is uh, a guy that Michigan fans should be really familiar with already. Um, he has visited Michigan three times, I believe. He has family in the Detroit Metro. He was most recently on campus for the game against Ohio State in the fall. Michigan right at the top of the on three recruiting prediction machine along with Alabama. Um, you know, that familiarity with the program, the fact that he has family in the area, I think Michigan get, gives Michigan a good chance with Fort. Um, I, you know, Michigan's already had success at IMG Academy this cycle, landing Caden Strayhorn, Donovan Johnson. Both of those guys are already recruiting for it. And like I said, you throw in the fact that he has family in the Detroit Metro, you throw in the fact that he's already visited three times. You know, Michigan has a really good cha chance to pull Zach Ford out of IMG Academy. He's a really fun player as well. Not the biggest safety at 5'10, 170, but an absolute playmaker. I thought he was one of the best secondary players at the Future 50 event. I really like him as a nickel. You know, he's always kind of been attack mentality. Uh, he's a great playmaker, high football IQ, um, a little similar to what Michigan has this cycle and Kainoa Winston. So a lot to like about Zach for it as well. Um, and then last on the list is uh, Simeon Caldwell out of Jacksonville, Florida. So another defensive back, uh, Simeon Caldwell, you know, I say another defensive back, but again, he's a, a really intriguing athlete that can play multiple positions at the next level. He actually visited Michigan last month and uh, also camped with the Wolverines. And during that camp, he worked out with the linebackers and then also worked out with the safeties. Now more of his contact has been with Lamar Morgan, but when I saw him at future 50, he got some linebacker work in and some safety work in as well. Uh, just a, a long intriguing athlete that plays well in space. Uh, so I think he could spin down and be a linebacker. I also think he could be kind of like a key on sab type of player um, as a safety. So you know, just one of the more fascinating, versatile recruits next cycle. And like I said, Michigan's already had him on campus. Seems really high on the Wolverines, was on the same 5v5 team as uh, Brady Hart. So they connected well, both uh, Floridians. So, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, he's, he's one that Michigan fans should know on the defensive side of the ball next cycle. So those were five key recruits I saw on the road over the weekend. For more Michigan recruiting coverage, head over to thewolverine.com and also like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for free.